but I did I got some sweet baby rays cut with some uh, apple cider vinegar put this on here and flip it on over there we go Ooh, flame on flame on We're not going to leave this on here any longer. We'll just get the sauce on here. We're going to get this on off of here. There we go. Hey everybody, Mike Chavez here once again. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to do something simple. We're going to do a spatchcock barbecue chicken on the Gravity 980. I've done this before, but today I got a urge for some good smoky barbecue chicken with a nice barbecue sauce. Uh, we'll figure out what kind of sauce we're going to use here in a little bit. But first off, let me show you the basic spatchcock barbecue chicken y'all ready for this let's do it all right what we're going to do today i got this nice size whole purdue young chicken so this thing is let's see here six pounds a little over six pounds i don't know if you all can see that a little over six pounds i'm going to get it out of the package um, kind of dry it off a little bit and then i'm going to show you how which i've shown you before but i'm going to show you again how to spatchcock this thing, all right? Back in a minute. Let me get it dry. All right, we got this chicken fairly dry. We'll probably dry it some more. But to spatchcock it, you need some uh, poultry shears. You could do this with a knife if you wanted, but I got some nice poultry shears. If you got some of those, and you'll need a knife. So we're gonna flip this breast side down on the back. We're going to take and cut on each side with the poultry shears. Now poultry shears are great for going through bone and flesh, but they're not real good on skin for whatever reason. So let's go all the way through. So we're just going to cut this backbone out. Now you can save this backbone if you want for stock or whatever. So when you get to the end, just take your knife, <clears throat> cut it the rest of the way off. There you go. So we're gonna look down in here and get rid of my shears. Um, you got some fat up in there that we don't want. We'll get rid of that. Uh, we'll come down here. Got actually some bone here sticking up. Let's get rid of that. We don't want no one cutting their face on that, cutting their lip. Alright, so actually I'm gonna get my big butcher knife out. So we go at the top of the breastbone, give it a little cut. Alright, then what we want to do is break it open. There we go, split it open. Spatchcock. Get some paper towel, kind of wipe out a little bit more on the inside. Turn it around. Got a little bit of excess skin and fat that we don't need. We'll get rid of that. Now I'm gonna get me some more paper towel. Continue drying it off some. So you want this about as dry as you can get it. So the skin is decent, okay? That's the main reason you wanna dry your meat, chicken, uh, whatever you're cooking. So it'll help with the uh, skin for the crispiness. Okay, we got, uh, we're gonna leave it like that. So I'm gonna let this air dry a couple minutes. And then what we're gonna do, I'll spray it down with olive oil. And what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna start out with some Cajun seasoning. Today I'm gonna use my K-Fred. We're gonna do a light coating of the K-Fred season for a little spiciness. Don't put the Cosmos Honey Killer Bee on there. 
We'll let this sit for a little bit, then we'll go fire up the uh, Gravity 980. So let me let this thing dry a little bit more, and I'll bring you all back for the seasoning. All right, so we've let this dry a little bit. So I'm going to put this in a aluminum pan. Get this out of the way. Nice and dry, nice and dry. So I'm going to go ahead and season the inside first. So I'm simply, I got my spray bottle of olive oil. Got my spray bottle with olive oil, so I'm going to give it a good coating of olive oil. This will help to get them wings. Don't forget your wings. Inside the leg. Alright. So like I said, I'm going to start off with my Cajun seasoning, my caper head. I'm not going to put a lot of this, but I'm going to give it a coating of the caper head. And on the wings. And in there on the back sides of the legs. Okay, just a light dust into the cape red. Then we'll take our Cosmos Killer B. And we'll go a little heavier with Cosmos. Get it in there good. Gonna end up starting this skin side up when we get it on the grill. So we'll do this side last. Good spray of olive oil. Alright. Go with the K Fred. Killer bee hold on now. Yeah. This killer bee is nice and sweet, it's got some good flavor to it. K Fred will give it some zip and some spice. There we go. Look at that. Alright, so I'm gonna let this sit here and get happy happy. So I'm going to go ahead and start some potatoes. I'm going to make some uh, German potato salad off camera. i got a video for it. I'll leave a link to my previous German potato salad video. And we'll get the grill fired up and we'll get this chicken on. All right, y'all. See you in a bit. All right, y'all. Got the grill set at 400 degrees. So let's go ahead and get this chicken on. Alright, what I'm going to do is start this off skin side up. Get on in here. Arrange this. Get these legs. Set out there. We go nice and flat. I'm going to bring my food probe in. Put this down inside the, the breast cavity for now. Alright, so I'm going to let this go for about a half an hour like this. 
get the internal temp of the breast up to about 150 degrees and we'll come and flip it over. So we'll see y'all in about 30 minutes. All right, y'all. I don't know if you can see that. We got uh, the chickens up to 141. We're going to go ahead and flip it. All right. So, let's see what we got here. Let me get this out of the way. Kind of move that out of the way. All right. So we're going to take this. Actually, let me get this probe out. Flip that over. Give me a glove. Put that back in. So we're going to get this uh, breast meat up to 160 and the thigh and legs up to about 170. and we'll be ready to roll. All right, see you in a few. We'll get it sauced up. All right, y'all. My meter says we're at 152. Let me see what the old thermopin says. Looking pretty good. Let me get down in there. Oh man, thermopin says this is done. So, let me get the barbecue sauce. What I'm gonna do, what I did, I got some Sweet Baby Ray's cut with some uh, apple cider vinegar. Put this on here. And flip it on over. There we go. Ooh, flame on, flame on. We're not going to leave this on here any longer. We'll just get the sauce on here. We're going to get this on off of here. There we go. All right. So let's get this in the house, let it rest, and we'll get into it. All right, y'all, this chicken is done. I'm gonna go ahead and lay her out on this cutting board. Let's cut her up. So the way I like to do this, I'll go ahead and cut it in half, right down the middle. There you go. Put one half back in the pan here. Get these legs off. Well done. Coming right off, the wings off. You can take this breast meat and just cut it in chunks. That's what I like to do. like that. You can separate the leg from the thigh if you want. There you go. Get this rib bone off of the breast. Slice it up in pieces if you like. Still piping hot. All right. Let's try this out, shall we? All right, y'all, here we go. Good old barbecue chicken, spatchcock it, cut it up.
Got a little bit of German potato salad here. So let's give this a try. We'll try a little bit of depressed meat. Y'all ready? Taste! Oh my goodness gracious. <clears throat> Smoky, tender, juicy. Mmm. Get a bite of that leg meat. Look at that. Perfectly done, y'all. Try some of these taters. Mmm. Good stuff, y'all. Really easy to do. Cut that chicken, take the backbone out, lay it flat. Put it on that grill about 400 degrees. It took about 45 minutes all together. Get that internal temperature up, breast meat 165, thigh meat about 180, up to 200. Awesome. I took sweet baby rays, cut it with some uh, vinegar, some apple cider vinegar, put it on there. Awesome. So thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate it. I hope to get some more videos out soon, and we'll see y'all next time. If you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. We'll see y'all later. Bye, everybody.